said, yeah. and there's a lot to ask, but let's yes. start with yeah. your your claim that your daughter, mm. who you are accused of killing, mm. is actually alive. I haven't claimed. Uh, there are people who have, uh, who say they have met. Or so seen not, her. Uh, yeah, met. Oh, met. met. Okay. See, the seeing her is very different from meeting. Okay, so... Since so, it is not my claim. Just so let me just correct that because I've seen also reports in Rani Mukherjee claim. So it is not my claim mm -hmm. because I will claim it only when I personally meet her. Right. So uh, there are two, three people who have said they have met, met. Again, I'm correcting it. And uh, somebody has gone to the extent of taking a video of that which was submitted in court mm. along with an affidavit of that lady who is a very renowned lawyer in India. So, and post that, the Honorable Court had, because we had applied for a CCTV footage from the airport, which is now in a sealed envelope in the court, which mm. will be used at the right. Why time. would she be in hiding? She's your daughter. So that I, that, see, that is what really baffles me, honestly, because I cannot for the life of me figure out that uh, despite knowing that I have been in prison for six and a half years and uh, I've gone through a lot of grief in the process, why would she choose to really not come out in the open. However, Barkha, I must also add to it, which I think in the previous interview with you, Sana had already uh, explained. And now it has come on record because in the mm. previous interview, Rahul Mukherjee was still not, uh, had still not deposed. Now it has come on record that there were you know, a series of text messages which were exchanged in between Rahul Mukherjee and Sheena in the month of September 2012, which is well, well, well after the body. The, the police says they found the, the body. Yeah, so after the alleged, uh, you know, murder. That's that has come on record, which is why I believe that the honourable court was uh, very, very quick in allowing the application to retrieve the CCTV footage because immediately there was absolutely no kind of uh, and the moment the honorable judge saw the footage uh, on her phone I don't know if it's a standard procedure or what it is I don't know but they said no no you know we cannot but you do know that Rakesh Maria the the, the, the top cop whom you also write about in your book yeah. he said at one point to the press that your former husband, not Peter, but Sanjeev, huh. had actually confessed to his role well, in this murder. He said a lot of things, you know. So, there must he be... He being Rakesh Maria? Yeah, Rakesh Maria said a lot of things, but there must also be a reason why, uh, you know, I think uh, the authorities felt that he was not uh, capable of continuing with the investigation. There must be a reason, which is why he was removed from the investigation. That is what I feel. Mm -hmm. And uh, it also appears that, which I have mentioned in my book, that what he has written in his book is uh, contradicts even my chart sheet. So, every, see, about how each of these Rakesh Maria story or my chart sheet, these are all speculative theories and allegations. So I have learned one thing in life now after spending so much time that everything works and I only believe in evidence. Yeah. So and there is, again, the entire evidence is just so, so ridiculous. 